hello welcome so in this video i am going to create one another integration that can be our app driven orchestration so in previous video i have created one schedule integration that was the first integration so in this video i will create app driven orchestration so let me first try to create that integration and then what kind of issue we will get while creating an integration then we will solve that issue so just click on that create button once you will click on that create button you will ask to select the app pattern so we will select app driven orchestration pattern for integration so just click on select so here i will select so hello hello world world integration hello world and this is app driven so i will select ap app driven app driven integration zero one okay zero one so here we have already explained all these things this is identifier and we will select package over here so last time we have selected package yc dot za and now i will select it is app driven so i will select ad okay now click on this create button so here if you will see in previous video if you have not watched just go and watch the previous video first so in when we select that schedule orchestration integration we got two endpoint by default the first endpoint was the start and second was the end endpoint but in this case in the case of app driven we don't have any endpoint or any start point so for creating the endpoint and the start point for app driven orchestration we required adapter so if you will go and you will check that we will not able to add anything we don't have option we don't have option for action to add any log or any variable and all because this integration is not started yet we can add that logger and all in st after starting the integration so for initiating the integration remember for initiating the integration we required any endpoint in case of schedule orchestration we have one we have that schedule schedule endpoint by default but in case of app driven we don't have so for initiating the integration we will use rest endpoint so that we can initiate the integration and also after initiating we can get the response from user we can return back the get the request from user and we can return back the response to the user so all these things we can do with the help of rest connection adapter so here i have already created rest connection so i can select but now before going to select i will create a new connection so that you can learn how we can create so here we will just save and just close this integration so first i will create the rest ad adapter connection then i will use that rest adapter connection in integration so for creating any connection you need to just go to the connection and click on that create so here you have to select the adapter you can see that these all the all are the adapt adapters by which we can create the connection so right now we require the rest adapter so i will select rest and select i already explained you about that roles of the connection right so here first give me give me the name so here fox fox rest and we will select this adapter as a trigger so that we it can initiate the integration this connection will be used in a starting of the integration that's why i selected trigger here over here so fox rest tri double trigger connection zero one so here i have given the name and the identifier it's coming automatically we can change the identifier also and here suppose what we can do change suppose i want to remove this e so i can remove the e from this identifier and all so here nothing need to do we can give the description so right now i will not give any description just click on this create so once you will select the rest connection as a trigger you will not get option to enter the user id password and url and all because this is going to initiate the integration only so here i have selected the basic authentication just click on this test it will be completed successfully and 100% now go to save and we will use this endpoint this connection to in our integration so here you can see that our connection is configured fox rest trigger connection is configured so once any connection will be configured we can use this connection in our integration just click here 
in integration so this is our integration we created like hello world ad app driven integration 01 earlier we have created hello print as schedule or situation integration 01 so here again i will go and i will edit this integration so now we don't have anything so first of all i will just uh, make it as horizontal so that it can be easy so now click here click here to add the trigger point and here i have created a rest end point so you can see that in trigger we have rest option here right so in rest we will select whatever connection we have created so we have created a fox rest triggers connection 01 so this is our connection so i will drag this connection over here it will ask some values to enter to configure this endpoint so here i will get a start rest okay now click on the next so it will ask the url it will ask the url for this endpoint right so just i will give print hello print hello okay and here you can see that this is coming by default so we can skip this one and this here this this action this endpoint perform like action will define that what kind of endpoint it will be so here if we select get we don't need to uh, set the request payload for this integration right so here what we want to do is that we want to create an integration that will not receive any request and that will also not return any re response right simply so i will not select here anything if we select post it means that we are getting the request and returning back the response so right now we don't need to get any request and return any response so i will not select anything just it will be get or simple so here you can see that we have option to add a review parameter for this endpoint this rev if we will select this tick if we will select this point it means that when we will run this integration it will ask one parameter value so i don't want to give any parameter to this integration and here you can see that this is grayed out configure a request payload grayed out because of that i have not selected here as a post it means that i don't want to get any request from user right that's why it's gray out here this is the response payload configure the endpoint to receive the response so as i told you that in this integration i will not configure any request and response payload so i will not take it here also if you will so see if i will select post over here this will be came automatically and ask that do you want to configure this request so here you can say that this is removed from gray out so no i don't want to do anything so i will just select get okay now click on next so here if you will see if we will tick here then this request response it will be like visible so i have not selected here so just click next directly we will go at summary stage and just click on done so here our start endpoint rest added and we have config conf configured that rest connection as a, a starting endpoint that's why it's coming over here so you can see that this is the start endpoint this is the end endpoint right and this is between before like between a start and end we have to configure all these things right so this mapper will define that the response if we want to return to the integration so right now we don't want to return any response so whatever activity we have to perform we have to perform all this activity between this star and this mapper this mapper between this area we have to perform all the activity right for reset you can just click on here so it will reset also so here i want to add the logger value right so just click on this action so earlier you can see that we don't have action option right before adding the endpoint so right now we have action option so we can add the logger here just add the logger give the name logger create and here again i will select always and enter the message for the logger so here i will select hi user this is my first app driven situation integration okay now click on validate so remember we have to enter all these value in double quotes right so don't forget to use if you will remove this double quotes you will get an error here you can see that so double quotes is mandatory for putting any value remember so just validate close 
and again validate and close because we have done changes right we have added value so here you can see that our logger message is added right so just click on save and you can see that there is one message over here so it's already also for tracing variable like right? it's asked for that enable the tracing and put any tracing variable so what you can do is that just click here and click on this tracing variable so here what you need to do you need to track this any variable over here so here we will select from here so here we will select anything so that it can initiate the integration right it help us to trace the very message log message put any name because the same will not be allowed so click on save and everything is clear so just click on save you can see that if we remove the error message so save and close so now you can see that our integration is in configure status it means that we can activate this integration so just click on this activate button and while activating we know that while activating the integration it's asked for enable the tracing payload so yeah of course we need to enable the tracing so we can read and we can read the log message so just click on this activate so how you can run the app driven orchestration integration so once your integration will be activated right you can see that this is now in activated status just click here play option and just click on this test nothing else so here we have option to run or test right so here you can see that if we we configure the request payload so in body we have to enter the request but we don't have any request that's why you can see that this request doesn't have any body okay and the response of this integration will be visible here in response body but we don't have any response so it will not reflect here so just click on this test so here you can see that our integration is running and this is the log message so remember directly you will not get any log message it will show but you will not get any log message right now you can see that we don't have logger message over here so it will take some time so again reload you can see that after the reload its log message is coming over here so what we have done is that we initiated the integration so you can see that message received instance created right integration created and now you can see the message processed by trigger start rest so this is the endpoint we have added right so our integration is initiated with the help of that start rest trigger endpoint okay and after that we added one logger logger activity so here in logger you can see that we have added the message hi user this is my first app driven orchestration integration and here you can see that this is the data mapping complete from message this all thing you can see that so we don't have any mapping right now that's why it's not showing anything this is the mapper value okay and this is the ending of that start rest point so this is the basic integration created for like app driven orchestration in next video i will create one integration that will take one parameter from user as a request and it will map the request and it will show the hi instead of user it will show the username over here okay so thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you so much